Yo, what's that squad? Today's video, we're going to show you guys some new Fortnite Ultimate FPS settings for Chapter 2 Season 4, guys. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button, guys, down below. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Guys, we're getting so close to hitting 250, guys. We are below 25 subs away from hitting it. So, guys, if we could hit this by the end of this week, guys, I'd be so happy, guys. Alright, guys, today's video, we're going to show you guys how to make your game from looking like this to looking like this. Alright guys, hope you guys did the video, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so starting off, what you want to do is go ahead and go to your settings in Fortnite, just like so. Make sure to have full screen on for full optimization. Make sure you have 1920 by 1080 Your brightness doesn't matter. Quality performance, just turn this all the way to low, guys, and boost your 3D resolution all the way to 100. Scroll all the way down to advanced graphics. V-Sync, make sure to have that off. Motion blur, off. Show FPS, you can have it off or on. DirectX version, personally I like DirectX. If you have a medium to high end computer, I'd recommend turning this on and trying it for yourself. But personally I like it because it boosts my performance and keeps it stable with FPS. And guys, make sure to have allow multi-threaded rendering on because that will boost performance by a lot. And use GPU crash debugging, make sure to have that off because that also is a small performance cost which we're trying to get the best performance so you want to turn all that off. Then after that guys, go ahead and click apply and exit out of Fortnite. Alright guys, now what you're on the front home page of your computer, what you want to do guys is go ahead and right click, click on your driver, so if you're on AMD, click this, if you're on NVIDIA, also click the NVIDIA one. Now what you want to do guys is go ahead and go to home, or wherever it is on NVIDIA, make sure you click check update guys, and as you can see right here, there is a download, which I'm going to do after this of course, but make sure you update your drivers guys, after that guys, go ahead and update that, and after that guys, go ahead and go to your settings, if you're on NVIDIA, it'll be on the screen right now. For AMD users, what you want to do is go ahead and go to your settings toggle right here. Go ahead and click graphics. And then just copy these settings. I click the eSport. And I just scroll down right here. And just copy all of these settings right here. You guys can pause it if you would like. Alright guys, next what you want to do is go ahead and go on Google. And then go ahead and type in haste gaming and click this the first link once you find this guys go ahead and click get haste now and then click the free sign up right here what you do guys you just got to put your name your email your a username and a password and there you go guys after you done click sign up it will download onto your computer once that is done go ahead and go to your downloads and as you'll see there will be a app called haste just like so what you want to do guys, go ahead and double click that. It will say it's ready to get started. Now we're not going to launch this yet guys, but basically what this app does, it lowers your latency to Fortnite and it also helps lower ping and give you better performance overall. And then after that, it will say it launched on this. And then there you go. Just leave it in the background. Once you click here, it will say right here that it's still running and that means it's good to go. All right. What you want to do next is go ahead and go to your taskbar just like so. Go ahead and type in percent app data percent. Then go ahead guys and click open. Alright guys, once you're here, go ahead and click app data just like so. Go to local, scroll down until you find Fortnite game. Then once you go ahead and click that, go ahead and click save, config, windows client, and then go ahead and right click game user settings. Make sure this is unchecked off of read only click ok double click it and then go ahead and make this full screen just like so guys once you get here go ahead and click scroll down all the way down to the very very bottom just like so and then scroll up a little bit as you can see right here where it says the sgs right there what you want to do is make sure all of these are on zero just like so and make sure the resolution is at 100 once you're done with that, you guys scroll up all the way to the very top, just like so. You see, find B show grass, which is right here. You basically make sure this says false. And after that, what you want to do is go ahead and click file, save, and you can go ahead and exit out of this. All right, guys, once you're done with that, go ahead and click your search bar. Then type in game settings, and then it'll type up game mode settings. Guys, go ahead and click open, just like so. Make sure game mode is turned on because this actually helps boost your performance. Go to the very top right here on the left side, click game bar, make sure this is also turned off because you don't want it to record any clips, so make sure to turn that off and uncheck this. 
Alright guys, from here what you want to do is go ahead and go to the Windows tab, click Settings, go to where it says Update and Security. Make sure you check for updates guys because you also want your Windows to be up to date. You see right here guys, there was an update and I'm downloading it currently. So on to the next fix. Once you're done with that guys, go ahead and click your Epic Games Launcher. Alright guys, after you're done launching Epic Games, what you want to do guys is click Settings, scroll all the way down, go ahead and click Fortnite. And then go to auto update make sure to have additional commands on guys and make sure to copy this there will be a copy and paste in the description just copy this down guys and then what you want to do is right here for the 16 replace how many cores you have on your computer now to find that what you want to do guys is right click your computer desktop and then click task manager then go to performance go to your cpu and as you can see look for your logical processors which mine are right here and i have 16. So basically use your number if you have 8 or 4 after you're done with that guys go ahead and replace that with your number which mine is 16 after that go ahead and click the fortnite tab right here and go ahead and click settings and then exit out all right guys once you're done with all that go ahead and click library and go ahead and launch fortnite 